Peace, Love, and Light, Scorpio. Welcome to First Eye Vision. I am Q, and I am going to do a general reading for my beloved Scorpios. This is going to be a reading to check the temperature, see what's coming in, what's going out, what's going on. I will you all a well and bliss and enjoying your holiday. I am a Claire audience, so I do listen to music and those messages blend in with the reading. This is a general reading, meaning eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, let it fly by. You got to switch the roles. If it's masculine energy and the card has a feminine energy on it, just switch the roles. It's all interchangeable. This is a timeless reading. So whenever you find yourself clicking on the video is exactly the divine timing intended for you all to do so. I do call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator to shine a powerful message of love and light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala and Mama Oya to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. I call upon Baba Ogun, Baba Shango, Baba Orula, Baba Olegua to bless me with the intuition of my cards. I call personally upon Baba or Mama Oshun and Mama Yemenya to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. I call also upon Archangel Mikael, Archangel Uriel, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Metatron to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. And so it is, so mote it be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. So what we're going to use today is we're going to use several different cards just so we could get a deep dive. You know, I like to dive deep and I like to really get clear and concise messages. So if you're looking for a 15 minute video, this will not be it. <laughs> um, so we're going to use some cards that I created over the weekend. Um, and I'm very interested to see what comes out. Um, I do feel a very p powerful, like empowering energy, uh, strong energy, peace. I feel like a lot of you have found your peace, but let's go ahead and delve in. Um, on the bottom of my new deck, it says, you are beauty in every fashion of the word, internal and external. So I do feel like someone um, is admiring you all. Maybe perhaps they're seeing you in a whole new light. Um, they're appreciating things that they may have overseen, overlooked. Um, right now we have Lauren Hill playing, I Used to Love Him, featuring Mary J. Blige. From the miseducation of Lauren Hill. So maybe someone's realizing, you know, some of the things that they may have uh, appreciated in someone, you know, in the past, um, you know, that they may have overshadowed. Maybe, maybe it was something they overlooked, as I said, and now they're realizing like they actually do appreciate it. Um, I see Shining Star on the split with a UR uh, beauty in every fashion of the word. So I am sensing. Um, that there is a presence, uh, a beautiful presence about you, a beautiful strength, a beautiful light. Um, but I do feel um, this could be someone maybe that you all have known in the past because it's saying I used to love him. So maybe this could be, you know, an ex-love or maybe this could be, you know, just um, an acquaintance, a friend, um, someone that you may have felt deep feelings for and maybe those feelings at a specific time were not reciprocated but we shall delve in see what's coming and going out going on i've already shuffled all my cards but as i said in a previous reading i like to also do it on screen so you all could see um you know see the process and that the cards are being shuffled correctly okay so divine spirit of love and light what messages do you have for our beautiful Scorpios, we have manifest that shit. You got the power. So somebody's either manifesting you or you could be manifesting someone um, into your life or back into your life. Depending, you know, based on the song, I used to love him. And they say, I used to love him. Now I don't. So, you know, I don't know. 
maybe someone's trying to convince themselves they don't love someone and they still do but we shall see um so we have here four page letter these are my thoughts should i send it text delete and text delete so what i'm getting from this message this is the overall energy is that someone um i do feel this is someone else's energy scorpio uh especially with this song playing i do feel like this could be someone with whom you know um maybe the two of you have separated maybe the two of you are not in communication at this time um i am sensing that someone is wanting to express uh their feelings maybe they were trying to convince themselves uh and you know that they didn't care that they didn't love you um that they didn't feel uh the feelings that they're absolutely now starting uh to discover they truly feel because with a four page letter this is someone who's um finding themselves trying to communicate with you by penning a letter um and then they don't send it they'll scratch it up or crumble up the paper or someone's trying to send a text message and then they'll delete it and not send it and so they're going through this process um i feel it's like you know it's a battle um and it's also a battle because they're fearing uh perhaps your response maybe there was um you know a disagreement maybe you all ended things on a sour note and someone is wanting to say perhaps i apologize i'm sorry or share with you what they were going through uh during that time of disappointment you know um but there is a sense that someone is wanting to express something to you uh but they're trying to find the words trying to find um the means to communicate something to you and we have um your love is one in a million um and it says no one can match it so when your love is one in a million um this is saying that you are unique just as i said and uh we have everyday struggles so maybe this is someone that you were in a partnership with and you all were faced with a lot of tribulation turbulence in the relationship a lot of um i'm hearing uphill battles so it kind of was a struggle it was you know kind of like a battle to love this person and i'm hearing um love is a battlefield don't 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 pat benatar so maybe this wasn't an easy love maybe this was a very um it was very like i said it was very turbulent um i feel the two of you loved each other very deeply but maybe there were some you know some outside um circumstances some external circumstances that uh kind of broke this connection down um and the two of you may not have been equipped with the ways or means or methods to repair it to uh sustain it and so the two of you may have separated parted ways um maybe there was a big blow up an argument or maybe there was some sort of tower moment that erupted um and this literally broke down uh, this relationship and ultimately ended in the partnership dissolving uh but this person now is coming to some sort of grand epiphany that your love is one in a million uh maybe this person is going through a lot of struggles uh and maybe this is very karmic um in regards to how things unfolded this person may have taught you a lot about yourself and in return you've learned to love yourselves more to put yourselves first and to not self sabotage um i feel this person could be struggling right now because everyday struggle by um notorious big is planned so let's tap in tune and see what's coming and going out going on and so we have mirror reflex uh can it says uh can there be a reflection uh or the shadow side of you um check yourself So as I said karmic the karmic usually comes in your life and there there are mirror reflections of who you are so maybe you may have been in a partnership with someone when you were going through the dark night of the soul and this person may have uh, awakened you or activated you to do some soul searching um to really start working on yourselves because maybe you discovered you know the way you were being treated it wasn't acceptable um the way you felt in that relationship 
uh, you didn't feel like you were being true to yourselves. You felt lost in that connection. Um, and I do feel like this was someone who reflected uh, probably, you know, some aspects of yourself um, that you needed to uh, perhaps release maybe certain behaviors, uh, belief systems, ideologies, habits, perspectives, needed some alterations, some moderations, and some change. And I feel like uh, if this wasn't what this person did to you, perhaps by you, you know, mustering up the courage and the strength to walk away from a toxic relationship has somehow activated or awakened your person um, to start reflecting on their behavior because they're already wanting to get some things off of their chest to communicate uh, their feelings and they're struggling with that. It's an everyday struggle for them perhaps to not be you know, in your acquaintance, to not be around you, to not be able to communicate with you, to see you, to wake up and just see you, you know, to wake up with you in their bed, lying in their bed, to wake up and smell your cooking. You know, maybe you all really nurtured, loved um, your partners, um, whether you were feminine or masculine, you just really showed love in a way that perhaps this person um, didn't appreciate at the time. And now they're recognizing you know, that you are one in a million, that you really were um, the whole package, the full package. Um, and I do feel like they're reflecting back. There's a sense of reflection. There's a sense of even introspection. And um, I feel that now that they're on their uh, spiritual journey, they're discovering um, certain belief systems that they may need to uh, release and change. And it's because of you know, the partnership or the connection they had with you. So that's beautiful. And there goes that shining star. So they do see you as a star. They do see that you have healed also and that you have been grounding yourselves. They see you as wish fulfillment also. I feel a lot of you are receiving perhaps a lot of uh, amazing things unfold in your lives. You're starting to change. You're starting to have more positive uh, events occur. Um, there could be wish fulfillment, as I said, whether that be in relation to finances, in relation to even some of the dreams and wishes and hopes that you may have sent out into the ethers. Those things are starting to manifest and materialize in this physical reality. I am sensing that someone has noticed that you all are a star. Some of you can be doing something that has you in the spotlight where you are getting a lot of recognition and you're starting to reap the benefits and the rewards. Uh, we have just um, Jill Scott playing um, Rasul. And um, so I do feel um, you all are, uh, you all are being acknowledged uh, for being very, very powerful, very magical, being like an alchemist who can transmute energy, who can utilize the elements around them, someone who co-creates with source, with universe, um, and you believe that you have infinite possibilities. They see you as a shining star. So this is someone who absolutely admires you. Um, and I feel like they're really uh, smitten by you. So divine spirit of love and light, what messages do you have for our beloved Scorpios? What's coming and going out and going on for our beloved Scorpios, divine spirit? And we have a couple of messages here. And so we have downloads, transmissions, divine intervention. So just as I said, there are some downloads. Someone's being activated. Someone's uh, receiving messages either through number synchronicities where they may be seeing 1111, 444, 1010, 99. Um, some of you all may be seeing um, 10, 10, 10, <laughs> you know, uh, 4, 4, 4, 4, you know, 5, 5, 5. Um, but there's a lot of uh, communication from source, from universe, uh, just letting, um, letting you know or letting your person know that um, there is absolutely uh, a need to delve deeper, uh, to really trust. Uh, what they're feeling in those moments of these uh, synchronistic events. Um, there could be even dreams uh, activity. You know, someone could be having a lot of dream activity. 
um, I am feeling, uh, but there's, you know, that there's also like animal totems that some of you all could be bumping into, or maybe even your person. Uh, but there is communication from divine. Divine is absolutely working with you all or working with your person um, to give you the confirmation because these downloads and transmission transmissions are the way that spirit, the way that source, the, your angels, your deities, the way they communicate with you to let you know you're on the right path. And that's typically, you know, some of the um, main signs that, you know, you're, you're being uh, communicated with by source, by a higher power. So that's beautiful. And, um, you know, maybe some of you feel like you're going crazy. Maybe some of you felt um, you know, by you constantly seeing these numbers, uh, that there was, you know, am I going crazy? Am I bugging out? Um, or maybe this is how your person is feeling, but with crazy deranged. And then it says caution, um, with the cards that are coming out, I don't feel, um, you know, that there's any, uh, alarming, um, energy here. I just feel like someone may feel like they're going crazy, uh, because of the, because of the way these messages, these downloads are coming through. Um, and we have, who is this? And we have J Electronica um, playing Dime Thy Triple Time. Um, so, yeah, triple time. So, time, divine timing. Um, I'm picking up with the, you know, time um, message. And then we have, she loves me, she loves me not. Um, and then it says gamer, uh, or games, mixed signals. So maybe, you know, someone, or maybe, you know, if this, if this is feminine energy, uh, you know, maybe some of you all, we could switch the roles, even though it says she loves me, it could be a he who's saying this. He loves me, he loves me not. So maybe some of you all feel like someone is perhaps emotionally manipulating you or trying to have you trapped uh, in confusion about how they feel or maybe this is someone else's perspective and this is why they're struggling with communicating their feelings because they're not able to get a good read on you or they're not able to really gauge how you truly feel um, or maybe this is a vice versa situation where you may feel that someone is giving you mixed signals, Scorpio, and you can't gauge whether or not this person really is being sincere or if they're really being transparent because maybe the, um, you know, the history that you and this person have. Um, I do feel that the divine is telling you to trust your intuition. That's why this download transmission and divine intervention is here because you have to trust what you feel intuitively and you have to be discerning. So, you know, maybe you need to, um, you know, assess the situation and look at things from a different perspective uh, because I do feel like there is a need to go deeper, a need to kind of um, center yourself in order to really see, you know, what's what here. So Divine Spirit of Love and Light, what additional messages do you have for our beloved Scorpios? Divine Spirit, we're going to get one more card. Divine Spirit of Love and Light, what messages do you have for our beloved Scorpios? Divine Spirit of Love and Light, what messages do you have for our beloved Scorpios? Divine Spirit of Love and Light, what messages do you have for our beloved Scorpios? And I could even see, you know, with the way that the card. All right. So we have Judas. So there is a Judas here. Um, and I feel like, you know, with this Judas message, this is this is like someone who can't be trusted, someone who wears a mask. Um, and then we have breaking generational curses, yokes, karmic cords. And it says you're powerful. And um, I can't even read my own my own writing. <laughs> oh, oh, it says congrats. Okay. All right. So, so this is powerful. So I feel like what this is telling me automatically off the gate, I feel like in the past, just as I said, you were dealing with a karmic, you discovered this person was a Judas. You discovered this person was not, um, sincere or was not, um, was not honest with you. Maybe they were, um, there were a lot of lies, a lot of deceptions in this connection. Maybe this person was emotionally manipulative, played a lot of, uh, mind games, um, emotionally, uh, 
you know, emotionally manipulating you by, you know, giving you breadcrumbing you, uh, by giving you mixed signals, not being very clear as to how they felt, kept you kind of dangling on on the side. Um, I feel that this person is wanting to apologize for their behavior because they are recognizing. And I feel the divine is working with this person because it says divine intervention. Um, I feel this person also feels like you are um, their source, like you are their power um, surge, if you will. Like they feel stronger with you. They feel more powerful with you. And in your absence, they don't feel um, as strong. They don't feel even as confident because maybe a lot of you Scorpios as loving and nurturing and empathic as you are, you kind of you know, you, you fueled this person, you fed them that strength, that power, um, to go out and, 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 you know, achieve their goals or to feel that sense of confidence and love. And I feel like, you know, with this Judas card, you discovered that someone, um, absolutely, um, was not serving your highest good because there was some Lord, some sort of lies, some sort of trickery that you may have discovered. And this person played a lot of um, games and toyed with your feelings and your emotions. Um, so let's get some, some messages from the Halloween Oracle deck just to check the temperature and see exactly what's going on here. And we have spider community and web weaving here. So a lot of you have been working very hard. Spiders are very hard workers. Uh, they also represent, um, you know, change. They, they represent, you know, very intricate planning. Um, you know, so a lot of you could be working on some sort of business ideas. A lot of you are really mastering your craft. Uh, you're, you could be like in a very studious energy where you may have been, you know, you're taking some classes, you're back in school and you're just like feeding your brain with information. You're learning something new. Um, you could be like in, uh, training for something. So a couple of cards flew out. Okay. These all, I can't take all of these, but there is your card. So this is the death card. This is the equivalence of the death card. So you are in your power. And I feel like a lot of you have gone through major changes and transformations, um, transformations, excuse me. And so, you know, this is part of the reason why someone um, in your circumference, someone you were dealing with, is also, um, you know, starting to become activated. And we have the Angelo chicken grease plane. Um, and... Um, And so, you know, some, when chicken grease is hot, you know, um, chicken grease, um, I'm trying to catch his lips. Give me a moment, please. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. So he's, he's pretty much saying, you know, um, with this chicken grease, I feel like something's going to get hot, you know, cause when you cooking, you know, some fried chicken and that grease, that grease got to be hot in order for you to cook it. And it turn you know, cooks to a nice crisp. So I am feeling like something got really, you know, maybe there's going to be a moment that comes out, um, where it's going to be really fiery, um, really passionate. Um, this could either be an argument or this could just be, um, this could be a, a heated, um, conversation. Um, but I do feel like there will be some clarity. Maybe in the past you all had a heated conversation and this is why this person is now penning this four page letter or trying to, or sending, you know, like, it's like they're typing up this, this long text. Um, sharing their feelings, sharing their emotions, and then they're deleting it or they're ready to send it and then they don't. Um, and I feel like because someone is really like reflecting on perhaps um, a, a previous exchange, a previous debate, a previous argument that you all have had with this song, Chicken Grease. Um, we have on the bottom of the deck graveyard, unnecessary fear. So someone is afraid um, to express themselves because maybe they fear rejection or they fear your response. They fear how you're going to um, 
receive this message. Um, and so with this chicken grease, yes, there could have definitely been a heated exchange or an argument or so, some sort of debate um, or disagreement, I should say, between you and this person. And it got heated. And I feel like um, this is probably what severed a connection, what, you know, you know, led to you all um, going your separate ways. But I am feeling like with this energy, with the graveyard, um, this person um, may be a little fearful of sending this message of apology um, or even asking for your forgiveness because they fear, you know, your reaction. They fear your response. So let's get our messages. Let's cut the deck. And so we have um, what you're trying to do playing by Jagged Edge. Yeah, so this person is definitely wanting to know what you're trying to do. Um, they're interested in knowing, like, do you really want to end this for good? Do you think that we could salvage it? Do you feel like we can work on this connection um, with what you want to do? It's like they're trying, they're going to leave it in your hands because they know ultimately the decision is entirely up to you because they were in the wrong. I feel like they're taking onus. Um, maybe they're realizing the things they've done wrong, realizing the mistakes um, and the errors in their ways and the way in which they handled you, handled the relationship and mishandled your heart. Um, so I do feel like this is why this person is stuck, um, you know, writing this message or penning these messages or texting these messages and then deleting them, not sending it because they don't know what you're going to do. They don't know if you're going to accept them, if you're going to accept their apology, if you're going to blast them out, cuss them out, because they know that what they did was um, it was wrong. And I'm hearing, you know, there's no coming back from it. Um, so maybe they've really deceived you, betrayed your trust. So let's get the message for four page letter. So we have owl, wise seeing, wise action. See that? So this person with this owl card, I definitely feel like um, you have become wiser uh, through some sort of betrayal, through some sort of, uh, you know, change that you've involved, that you were um experiencing in a partnership however I also feel like this person as I said is also realizing the error in their ways because it says wise seeing wise action and that now they're observing things from a different perspective um, they're looking at things from a bird's eye view so to speak owls are very intelligent and owls are also nocturnal, so I do feel like perhaps there was a lot of things hidden uh, in the dark. You discovered these things that were hidden, and I feel like you made a wise decision to separate yourself, to um, end this partnership because you realized someone was not being uh, honest, was not being faithful, uh, was not being loyal to you. And I feel like this person now is in a situation in a defunkel, <laughs> um, as Judge Judy would say, uh, where they're now observing their actions. They're realizing that they messed this up and they're taking onus. And that's why they're having difficulty um, sending this apology or penning this letter and sending it to you because they're afraid. They're fearing your response because things that they said, they may have said in any anger or they may have said things prematurely without thinking um, about what they were saying. And I feel like they know they hurt you. Um, and so they don't know what you're going to do um, if they send this letter. And I feel like they're fearful. But the divine was saying they have unnecessary fear because I feel Scorpio, not only have you grown, I feel like a lot of you have grown beyond, um, you know, holding anyone responsible for your feelings. I feel like a lot of you have done so much internal work that you are not faulting anyone in particular for what may have occurred. Yes, someone may have done some things that were just very disheartening. Um, they could have betrayed your trust, but I feel like you're not looking at things from a victim standpoint. I feel like you're looking at this connection with this person as a way in which you all were able to grow, evolve, and become better versions of yourselves. I feel like this relationship allowed for you to take your power back. And so this person is fearing that you're going to like, when they come back, 
you're going to like use that as an opportunity to you know seek out revenge and cuss them out so you could get the last word and hurt them but i feel like for many of you you are beyond that because you're wiser now and you understand um that every action there's consequences for those actions and even though someone could have betrayed you hurt you um and you know kind of uh, you know, like I said, broke your heart even, you know, um, I feel like you all are in such a better place um, after this situation because it led to you growing. It led to you transforming. It led to you learning how to set healthy boundaries. It led to you even setting your standards higher. Um, and so I feel like now you have a better perspective and a better understanding of love and what you deserve what you require and um you now know um who you are you know your love language so that's beautiful and so you know this person is having these un unnecessary fears because they're fearing your response um right now we have lee morgan dear sir so just as i said and as i'm speaking of a, a dear john letter uh, or a dear jill letter because remember jill scott was playing razul um, this person is perhaps, you know, trying to find the words. Lee Morgan uh, is playing Dear Sir. So this person um, is absolutely Dear Sir, Dear Madam. Like I said, switch the roles, you know, and uh, the genders rather. Um, so someone's absolutely penning a letter. And we see that with the four page letter. These are my thoughts. And um, it says, should I send it? Uh, so, yeah, and this could be you all, too. You all could be trying to pen a letter, um, you know, to someone and you're trying to find your thoughts or you're trying to figure out how to formulate your words. Uh, this could go either or. On the bottom of the deck, we have eternal love. Love is love is love. And that is one of my slogans. And I love that this card came out. So there is an eternal love between you and whoever this person is. Uh, I'm automatically picking up soul ties, uh, past life connection. Um, this is a relationship that you could have been in in, in a former life. Um, and this relationship, this connection is something very deep. It's spiritual. Uh, this is a spiritual union and it says it transcends physical death. Um, so, you know, regardless of whether you all are in, um, in union with this person, in separation with this person, the love is everlasting. This also can speak to um, you all having ancestors who are protecting you, loving you from the spirit realm, who are watching over you and giving you the strength, who has given you the strength to endure certain transformations, certain shifts that may have occurred in your lives, in your relationships, and they're loving you even in um the afterlife and this is beautiful because a lot of scorpios you know i know you all have loved ones that are in that spirit realm um that have transcended or that have um you know transitioned and this is a beautiful card to let you know that you know regardless of what uh they love you um even on the on the other side they're loving you they're protecting you they're watching over you and they're giving you the guidance um, I also feel like, you know, as I said, for many of you all with this mirror reflection card um, and this karmic energy, uh, I do feel like many of you were given the strength um, to overcome the loss of a partnership, a relationship that ended sour. Um, you were given the strength, the spiritual guidance and the protection from your loved ones. And they're, you know, definitely with you. They're always with you. And many of you may needed, may have needed to hear that because I feel like a lot of you had nothing more than your strength to lean on um, during these dark nights of the soul, during you doing the shadow work. It's a very difficult process, which requires strength, which requires, you know, resilience. And this is a dark card. I'm trying to let you see it. Yeah. So this is powerful. And skeletons represent strength. So that's why I'm picking up the fact that, you know, your ancestors, your guides, your angels, they provided the strength in most scenarios, most cases, they could have been carrying you through difficult times. And I also feel like, you know, your person um, may be calling upon their ancestors uh, to love you. 
you know, to, um, I mean, to protect them, to guide them. Um, but they're also recognizing their love for you is eternal uh, because they were seeing you as a star. They were also seeing the beauty in you, the beauty within you, the beauty that is you, the love that is you. So divine spirit, why is mirror reflect, reflects? And can they be a reflection or the shadow side of you here? Thank you, spirit. And so we have zombie, and this says control. So yeah, you were dealing with someone who could have been very controlling, very overbearing, my way or the highway. Someone who had a lot of secrets also with that moon there. And I feel like for a lot of you, you listened to your intuition and you discovered that there were some things that were happening within this partnership where someone was trying to control you. Maybe someone had a lot of um, secrets that were coming out. I feel like, you know, this person represented the shadow side of you. And maybe a lot of you were operating and functioning from, you know, from your shadow side. You know, you were not necessarily in balance. So, you know, you have your dark side, you have your light side. And I feel like this person reflected back to you, uh, you the darkness that you needed to balance out. Uh, we all have to do that work. That's all, um, you know, inclusive. You know, every person in, on this, you know, the face of this earth has to learn to balance. Um, that's what yin yang is all about. So this could have been, you know, someone who could have possibly or could be your twin flame, your soulmate. Um, but I feel like this person reflected back to you uh, what you were, who you were, and you reflected back to them um, what they lacked, what they were. And we have, you shook me all night long. Or you, yeah, yeah, you shook me all night long. So this is interesting, the name of that. So you shook me. So I feel like, you know, there was some things, um, there was, this relationship was shaken, um, ultimately. It was shaken. It was, it, you know, like I said, there was a lot of things that unfolded. We got a zombie kind of breaking through the ground. And so this is like transform, transformative energy, like, um, you know, Scorpios rule death and rebirth. And so it's almost as if, you know, this, this zombie, you know, this is like that dark side of someone. Maybe you had control issues or maybe this is someone who had control issues and this reflected back, um, you know, or this kind of shook the foundation of this relationship is more so what I'm picking up on because someone was very controlling, um, almost narcissistic where they just kind of wanted the control so that they can, they can, you know, manipulate the relationship to a way in which it benefited you. And maybe you started to look at things from a different perspective and you realize that what this person was doing was very self-serving and it wasn't necessarily good for the whole. And this owl led you to see things um, that were being hidden from you in the dark. This moon is also very much indicative of your intuition, following your intuition to discover because the moon is also very reflective. So this is very powerful that these messages are coming out together. The moon reflects and the moon is all about the shadow. It's all about what's hidden. And so someone reflected to you, you know, um, parts of you that you may have not necessarily, that may not have been benefiting you. Um, and you started to do your work. You started to receive those downloads, those transformation and I mean, transmissions. And you also ultimately um, started to, you know, acknowledge the divine interventions through number synchronicities or animal totems that would show up or even through music, clairaudiently, um, you know, just certain signs, certain feelings, certain notions. Um, but I feel like control was a major issue in this partnership and I feel like someone tried to control you and through them trying to control you um, it shook the foundation of this relationship because Scorpios cannot be controlled especially when you realize someone's doing it uh, in a very manipulative way in a way that where they're trying to um, they're trying to be conniving so I feel like you ultimately broke free so for downloads transmissions divine intervention we have the card ghost and it says regret. So I feel like someone definitely, because we have, um, you shook me all night. So I feel like someone is definitely having difficulty resting at night. And this could be someone who could have ghosted you. 
someone who could have played a lot of in and out, back and forth, very impulsive, very flighty type of energy. I feel like this person thinks about you a lot at night and they have deep regrets. Um, I also feel like this person um, may be receiving a lot of messages from their angels, guides, ancestors um, in regards to their behavior, in regards to the... And that's confirmation the train is going by. So someone's receiving some sort of downloads. They're realizing, um, they're realizing obviously that you're their baby uh, because we got Ghostface Killer featuring Raheem um, Divine and it's called Baby. So this person is having a lot of regrets. Maybe this person ghosted you for someone else. Maybe this person cheated on you and left you for someone else. I feel like this person is now receiving some sort of divine intervention in regards to um, the way in which they behaved, the way in which they severed the relationship, ended the relationship, did not honor you um, or appreciate you or treat you right. Maybe someone has had some sort of child, you know, an uh, extramarital child from an affair and they're regretting this and they're, you know, now trying to figure out how to apologize, how to, uh, you know, confess this to you or reveal this to you. Um, that's for a very select few. Not everybody has a man that then went out and, you know, created a baby or had a baby with a karmic or some, um, some other woman uh but i do feel like with the song baby this also is speaking to the fact that this person uh you and this person could have a baby you and this person could share a child um there is deep regret though there's a lot of regret this person i feel you know rests or sleeps on a guilty conscience for the way in which they behaved and i feel like it's because they are receiving a lot of downloads they're receiving from their angels from their ancestors a lot of downloads pointing out all the things they did wrong and also showing that you were, in fact, uh, a very beautiful, powerful, loving um, person, you know, that they uh, potentially may have ruined um, this relationship with. Um, so they're starting to uh, acknowledge that. And that's why they're having difficulty uh, sending this message, because they know that they treated you unfairly. They know that they did you wrong. They know that they did not honor you like the king or the queen um, that you are. And so there's a lot of growth. There's a lot of regret. Um, and I feel like, you know, with this ghost card, um, they definitely feel like you are, um, you're not present. You know, they don't feel your energy as much. Uh, but I do feel like there are receiving a lot of messages from their angels and guides. Um, you know, to, you know, really assess their own behavior and to start doing their work. Because as I said before, I feel like a lot of you have really triggered them to start their soul journey, their spiritual journey, their dark night of the soul journey, because you both were reflecting back to one another, um, you know, your dark sides, you know, your, the darkness that you all needed to balance out. And so we have here the veil, the future. So someone had, you know, the wool over your eyes or someone had the wool over their eyes um, in regards to, you know, the future and what the future may hold. Um, but when you have the veil over your eyes, it's like you can't see into the future. Maybe someone that their person was dealing with um, was absolutely uh, toying with their feelings, toying with their emotions, um, doing a lot of trick knowledge, uh, emotional manipulation, because we're about to cook clarify that she loves me she loves me not games mixed signals and then we have you know the veil so the veil is like you know pulling the wool over someone's eyes um someone's eyes it's also like you know wearing rose-colored glasses um someone is definitely feeling like they're unsure there's the sense of uncertainty about a connection um the she could be a he, as I said. So some of you feel like someone could be pulling the veil over your eyes because you feel like this person has manipulated you in the past. So you don't know how to really, to really gauge 
if they're being honest, if they're being really being authentic with you, or if it's just another game, because we have games here. So it's like, you know, you get mixed signals. Like I said, one minute they're in, next minute they're out. Um, you know, and with this ghost card that speaks to like very impulsive energy, I'm picking up Knight of Wands energy where they're very flighty. They're going wherever the action is. They're going wherever the fun, um, they, you can't really rely on that type of energy, um, because they're so flighty and it, their attention span is very short. So, you know, and they require a lot of attention. They require, um, you know, they like passion. They like lust. They like, you know, fun. They're very, very, um, in and out. Um, and they come as quick as they, you know, they leave as quick as they come. So I feel like this is the type of dynamic you may have had with someone. And I feel like maybe this person did ghost you. Maybe this person blocked you. Maybe this person just did pull the disappearing act. And then now they're regretting that, you know, and now they're trying to figure out how to reappear. And we all know that Mercury retrograde is in effect this month. Um, and you start to feel the effects, the occurrences of that energy, you know, two weeks out and two weeks after you still feel that residual energy of Mercury retrograde. So this person could be trying to figure out how to re-enter your life because I feel like there is a sense that you all are not communicating right now, especially with this ghost card and then regrets. Um, and now there, you know, there's this mixed signal. Um, so what we have is pleasure of the night. And that's very interesting that I was speaking on that Knight of Wands energy where someone was very, very passionate, very lustful. Um, someone who is in and out, very impulsive. They want to go wherever the action is. Um, that could be someone who is ruled by their phallus or someone who uses sex as a weapon as well. Almost who can get drawn in by incubus, succubus energy because they don't really, um, they don't really know how to, um, protect themselves in a way where they are, uh, selecting right, the right type of people to inter, to intertwine with sexually. And so this energy here, they definitely are having regrets for maybe their flighty energy because they were, you know, perhaps being very promiscuous, uh, promiscuous, uh, you know, just having sex with different people, you know, just getting pleased each night by different people, just getting pleased each night, um, you know, through, you know, some sort of just low vibrational means, whether even drinking, um, engaging in, you know, just dark energy, toxic energy, you know, partying too much, drinking too much, hanging out, clubbing too much, too much of anything could be not a good thing. But I do feel like the veil, perhaps they're trying, you know, they're starting to remove the veil from their eyes and they're looking more now into their future. They're thinking more about their future. They're thinking more about what's important. So let's see what's coming and going out. Going on. Why she loves me. Thank you. Wow. Okay. So we got two messages. See that? Forgives forgiveness. Can you please stop rattling that bag? You're interrupting my my build. Thank you. Just take the bag with you. Take the bag. Thank you, buddy. Sorry, you guys. Apologize. My son is in there, like, making all the noise he can possibly make. All right. So we have forgiveness here. And so forgiveness, uh, it says reducing burden. So this person, she loves me. She loves me not. Games, mixed signal. So this person definitely um, is seeking forgiveness. I feel like someone wants forgiveness for the games that they may have played in the past because they know that maybe they were not always being as honest or they were not being as transparent. They were not always being um, real with you. And I feel like this person wants to ask for forgiveness. And this is what I was picking up with the four page letter, but they're struggling with this because they know that they were playing a lot of mind games. They know that you are not as trusting of them because of the mixed signals, because of the ghosting, because of the, you know, the one minute they're saying this next minute, they're doing the complete opposite. So they're wanting your forgiveness. They're wanting to seek out um, some sort of forgiveness, but they're struggling with how to do so. And they do have a lot of regret. We see that. And I feel like it's because the divine is, you know, kind of like really working with them 
and you know showing them it's like through their dreams they could be seeing things they could be waking up in the middle of the night in a panic because of the way that they've mistreated you all and I feel like this person really truly wants forgiveness for toying with your emotions and for playing with your feelings and for not treating you as I said like the king or the queen that you are the divine feminine or the divine masculine that you absolutely are we have Judas here so it says skull of stars infinite possibilities so with this Judas card now I feel like with this Judas someone is hoping that there is a possibility to repair this connection because they know that they defiled the relationship they can completely broke your trust they completely took advantage of your kindness they took your love for granted and I feel like this person now is perhaps recognizing just how much of a star, just how much of a wish fulfillment you truly are to them, just how much possibilities um, that this connection could have had. And we have all I need is you playing by high tech. And so this person now is seeing you as wish fulfillment, this Judas, this person that was being deceptive, this person that was lying, cheating, um, completely defiling the relationship, someone who was cheating, sneaking, creeping, um, someone who definitely betrayed your trust. They're trying to find the strength to ask for forgiveness, to let you know all I need is you because that's what's playing. Um, this person is really receiving a lot of um, divine intervention, which is showing them almost like the light, which is also strengthening them. They're recognizing how strong you all are because they realize that they put y'all through a whole lot of bullshit, like unnecessary part of my language. But this person definitely realizes like, regardless of what they did to you, you always showed up on top. You healed, you grounded yourselves. You transmuted the negativity that they were constantly throwing at you and you focused on balancing yourself. You focused on healing. And I feel like through you all focusing on your healing, you also realize that you were co-creators, that you were master manifestors, that you also were sending up those prayers and petitions to, to be able to come out of you know whatever this toxicity was and not only did you come out of it you came out of it on top you came out of it stronger you came out of it weaker I mean I said weaker wiser maybe they feel weaker um, the stronger you felt they felt weaker they felt weakened you know maybe they felt like for a long time they held this control over you and this control was all a ploy to be able to manipulate you to get what they wanted and you know they this is someone who is you know like I said very kind of narcissistic wants things their way to their benefit so that they could get what they need out of it and they didn't particularly care about how you may have felt or what you received out of it there was no reciprocity um, and this is why there was this confusion about you know the mixed signals not having the clarity of this person because you know, they would say one thing and do a complete different thing. And so we have beautiful life playing by Raheem Devon. And so this person now realizes that they had, they had it really good with you. They had this amazing life and they understand. Oh, this is not, um, this is beautiful life by um, Slum Village, pardon me. And so this person definitely um, realizes they had a beautiful life with you. Um, and they could have, you know, there's infinite possibilities with you. Maybe they feel like they was trapped with a Judas with, you know, like I said, that incubus succubus energy will get you caught up uh, because what they do is they entrap you with lust, with sex. Um, and that's an exchange of energy. People don't realize that sex is a very spiritual, magical um, act. And if you're just laying around with anyone, especially demons, especially these succubus, incubus energies that are rampant out here, rampant, um, then you could potentially be stuck in a place of confusion. And I feel like maybe some of you female Scorpios were with a masculine who could have, you know, could have abandoned you, left you, chose someone else, and it was out of some sort of 
mixed signal that they were getting from that person, thinking it was love and it was lust, even if it's a masculine energy, you could have been having really good sex with a female and you got really open wide and it was just, you know, it was just that. It was just suck sex. It was just maybe you like the way she gave you fellatio because suck came out. Some of you men had the best fellatio in your lives and you was open wide and it was just, you know, a ploy to to get what they wanted. So they knew to throw the sex on you, to use the sex as a weapon to get what they wanted. And that's just, you know, that's that's the way the game is played, unfortunately, by those Judas, that Judas type energy, by that, like I said, that incubus succubus energy they will use sex as a weapon because they knew that that that's an exchange of energy and that could potentially like have you trapped in confusion because you're not thinking with your brain you're thinking with your little head and so that that's where the confusion can go as well as with feminine you know maybe you were sleeping with someone who was sleeping around with multiple partners and that could have had you trapped in a state of confusion um but I do feel like this person seeking forgiveness, they also recognize ultimately you are the star. With you, there's infinite possibilities. They see you as a star. They see you as strong. They realize your strength because you were able to break free from whatever, you know, toxicity. And look at that. The veil is on the bottom of the deck, the future. So there's absolutely um, an unveiling. I'm hearing unveiling about your future. And we also had, remember, breaking generational curses on the bottom of the deck originally so it says breaking generational curses yokes karmic cords you are powerful and it says congrats so there is this energy um where i feel like a lot of you have broken uh some sort of generational curse or broken some sort of yoke with a karmic energy and you know with that beautiful life plane you are now starting to experience a lot of um, amazing things. Like I said, in the beginning, that shining star showed up um, as well as beauty. Um, You're beautiful externally as well as internally. So someone's now realizing, recognizing um, just how unique, how rare, how beautiful and how magical you all absolutely are. Um, so let's tap into it and we're going to get some additional messages. As I said, I'm forewarning you, this is going to be a deep dive. I hope you're enjoying the ride so far. Thank you, spirit. So we have sacrifice here on the bottom of the deck. So as I said, on this sacrifice card, this is the card of, um, What is this card? I believe this is the card of judgment. Don't, I believe this is judgment because I feel like, you know, a lot of you have made sacrifices in the past and now you're going to have to make a judgment call on whether or not a relationship is worth revisiting because of the way in which you were treated in the past. Um, and I feel like for many of you, because, um, so much has happened, so much has unfolded in the relationship, in the partnership. Um, I think that you're really going to, you know, some of you are going to really assess this, you know, the possibility or the potential of, you know, re-entering a connection with someone from your past, especially someone you discovered was like a Judas, someone that was being dishonest, deceptive. Um, you're really going to make a judgment call on whether or not that is someone worthy of, you know, re-entering a partnership with, because I feel like, you know, um, I see this material and spiritual prosperity here now, um, from the shuffle. I do feel like a lot of you are coming into like wish fulfillment. Um, things are looking up for you. I feel like abundance is now starting to, to shower upon you. And I feel like for many of you, you could be, you know, like I said, starting to reap the benefits and rewards for all of your, your your hard work from the past. You've already broken generational curses and that's why the divine is congratulating you and um, letting you know that you've definitely, you're powerful. And so you're, you're now, you know, receiving the blessings from divine. Um, this is a red card that deals with the root chakra and the root chakra is all about your stability. 
um, your ability to stand on your own, to have a backbone, to stand your ground. Uh, when I was shuffling this deck, I kept seeing stand your ground. So I feel like you all are standing in your power. You're demanding your respect and you also are stronger. You're wiser. Uh, and you have a sense of self-love, self-worth, self-value. And because you've done your soul work, because you've healed spiritually and at a soul level, you're now going to be re rewarded because you've done the work. You know, um, you, you are only rewarded when you do the work. And I feel like the divine is acknowledging that. And I feel like someone is also acknowledging that because they see that now you have all these these infinite possibilities, things are happening. Um, you know, it's like you're in a constant flow of, you know, abundance of, uh, you know, happiness, joy, love, peace, um, good things are always happening to you. And they see that you're manifesting these things because of the change, because of the spiritual journey um, that you all have been ex uh, going through, experiencing in your lives. So I feel like this person definitely um, is recognizing your strength and recognizing your power. Um, and we have um, Fantastic playing by Slum Village. Again, it says Untitled Fantastic. So yeah, so let's delve dive, go deep. So Divine Spirit of Love and Light, what messages do you have for our beloved Scorpios? Yeah, you've seen the light and the light illuminates. The light is the sun. This is the number 19. 19 reduces to 10 and 10 is about ending. So I feel like there was absolutely like a completion of a cycle. Um, and this also represents expansion, growth. Um, she's reaching up to the stars, the lights, and we're speaking about the skull of stars. We also saw a shining star. So someone is definitely um, recognizing how illuminated you are. They see you as the sunlight. You bring light into their life, joy, peace, happiness. And I feel like you know, around you, they feel fantastic. I feel there's a lot of amazing, fantastic things unfolding as well in your lives. Um, and I do feel like there's going to be some changes um, financially. I feel like there's going to be growth. And there goes that base chakra when I was speaking of the root chakra. So many of you, that root chakra, if you don't know, that rules over Scorpio. So that encompasses everything pertaining, you know, that spine, um, like I said, the backbone standing erect, your legs, um, you know, your ankles, those are the, the things that some of you could be working on. Maybe you're doing exercises and you're like working on like strengthening your legs. So you could be walking, walking on treadmills. You could be working on recumbent bikes, um, you know, cycling um, on your recumbent, recumbent bikes, which are stationary bikes. Um, many of you could be doing like squats. Um, you know, but there's this energy of, you know, just, you know, finding your power, um, strengthening yourselves. Um, this could also deal with like your career, uh, your finances, your independence, your stability, um, your security. And that's the mirror reflection is taking that back, taking back control, uh, being able to be independent because your independence is a foundation for your strength, is a foundation for your security, your stability, your happiness. So let's tap into an in divine spirit of love and light. What messages do you have for our beloved Scorpios? My spirit. Shuffle this up. And I'm seeing fulfillment of wishes. So you are coming into a lot of wish fulfillment. And you don't receive that unless you work on it. And I feel like a lot of you, because that was a predominantly uh, green card with gold, um, I feel like not only are you emotionally going to be fulfilled and overjoyed with new love coming in, but I also feel like that's speaking to uh, prosperity, financial growth, um, having lucrative um, business dealings, promotions, pay increases, wish fulfillment. Um, and I feel like things are going to be really fantastic. Things are going fantastic. You're going to be really um, excited. So we have obstacles and challenges or obstacles and changes. And this is what's clarifying this. So there is, um, you know, perhaps a lot of obstacles that you and this person have gone through, but those definitely brought forth the change that was necessary within a partnership. Because I feel like, you know, with this, with this obstacles and challenges, if you look, um, it may look very daunting. It may look very, you know, scary um, that he's walking on this broken plank. But if you look closely, you see that these angels, these these beautiful animal totems, they're they're lighting the way 
to show the potential pitfalls. And this is a purple card. So it's all about trusting one's intuition. And once you trusted your intuition pertaining a situation, um, you were able to avoid certain pitfalls, perhaps in a relationship, or you were able to avoid completely, you know, falling into a situation where you could have, um, you know, it, things could have really gotten bad. I feel like, yes, things got bad. Um, yes, there were some obstacles, but you overcame those obstacles. And I feel like, you know, those obstacles um, definitely could have changed your life for the worse. But I feel like for you paying attention to your intuition and because you had guide, because you had guidance, spiritual guidance from your ancestors, your angels, and you were able to see the drop, the fall, um, you were able to avoid a lot more initially. And it says wise seeing, wise action on this card, the owl. So this also speaks to how wise, how uh, incredibly intuitive uh, you all were. I feel that many of you avoided, um, as I said, um, a situation that could have been really bad. Um, and it's because you trusted your intuition and you followed uh, the guidance of your higher self, which is your angels. That's that Christ consciousness. And someone is trying to find the ways to formulate the words, I apologize, I'm sorry, forgive me, because they know what they've done was, you know, it's, 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 uh, it's almost like it's, it's, like I said, un, irrep uh, how do you say that word? It's, um, I'll say unforgiving, but nothing is unforgiving, um, you know, because we all are empaths. So we do have the ability to forgive and forget, you know, not forget. Don't don't get me the line. We don't forgive and forget. We don't forget anything. We do know how to forgive, though, because we ultimately when we're in our power, we know that the forgiveness is for us because we could be very vindictive when we're in a low vibration. Um, so we could be, you know, planning all kind of plotting all kind of revengeful acts and we could become very scorned when we're in our shadow side, our dark side. But when we are balanced, when we are in equilibrium, meaning mind, body, soul, we know that nothing happens to us. It happens for us. And so right now we have um, I Without a Face by Billy Idol. So I do feel this is very indicative. Look at these eyes and the face is not even shown. And Billy Idol is singing I without a face. So the I without a face, it's like this person now, they're tapping into their intuition um, and they're realizing, um, like I said, they're learning from you and you learned from them. So you all were brought together because there was, uh, as the cards were saying from the Halloween deck, there was this eternal love and the love transcends this reality as well as that spiritual reality. They said it transcends, you know, um, physical time and even death. So there is a sense that, you know, your ancestors also could have helped to activate you to pay closer attention to someone's actions, to someone's deeds, to someone's mishandling of your heart. Um, but it's very powerful that that song would play Eyes Without a Face by Billy Idol. Bottom of the deck, there goes the base chakra. So you absolutely, undubitably was doing a lot of soul work. That first chakra represents the base chakra, that's the root chakra, that's your energy. I feel like um, many of you could have been calling on uh, Archangel Mikael to assist you with, you know, just protection, protecting yourself from, you know, enemies, from secret enemies, known enemies, from any psychic, spiritual attacks. I feel like a lot of you also found your backbone because you were dealing with someone who was trying to control you. Um, they could have been controlling not only you, but controlling the finances in the household, um, manipulating the money so that they can, you know, run around and do whatever they wanted to do, wine and dine, uh, take people on trips you didn't know about. I feel like this person reflected, they held up a mirror to you of the things you needed to work on. Maybe there were belief systems, maybe there were certain um Maybe you were raised a certain way to believe a certain way um, and those things needed to be um, you needed to break free from that because those were all rooted in some sort of generational curse or some sort of yoke. Um, I feel like a lot of you broken free from a belief system, um, even behaviors that were not um, conducive to your betterment. 
Um, and I feel like this person definitely uh, triggered some sort of transformation uh, because the zombie, um, you know, in, is reminding me of like the death and the reincarnation um but this also is the shadow side so you had to like reflect um do some self-reflection do some self um introspection and there was some self-discovery ultimately that you you know that was revealed to you uh by this person so this was a karmic relationship um and we have the plug playing by fabulous so this person was the plug to you discovering your shadow side. And they were also the plug to you discovering um, how to take your power back and that you needed to take your power back. And you needed to control the reins over your life because this person may have had too much control. And there was a lot of secrets that were being hidden. And there was a lot of things um, that you discovered about yourself, as I said. So Divine Spirit of Love and Light, why is Mirror Reflects? I'm um, here by zombie. I mean, in zombie. Thank you, spirit. So the card that flew up on the, um, this one flew out and it landed on the upright. So this is your message. This next card will cl um, clarify the ghost and downloads transformation. So we have new beginnings, beloved. So what did I say about you all being on a spiritual journey and your transformation, which is what new beginnings are that represents an ending and now a new beginning. That zero is the zero point, starting at that ground zero point, which is that coming full circle, you know, something unfolding, completion of a cycle, and now you can expand because you're entering into a new dimension, into a new phase, stage, junction in your life. You have closed the door on your past. You've closed the door on, you know, something or someone who was trying to control you, um, even belief systems where you may have been fearful to step out on your own, uh, staying in partnerships where they were not serving your highest good just for stability or for security. Um, this person revealed to you um, some of your fears, some of the things that hindered you or blocked you from being your best version of yourself. And I feel as you started to do your internal work, your spiritual work, this triggered your growth, your, um, it triggered your transformation ultimately. And now here you are stepping out. A new beginning represents you um, going after your dreams passionately. She's carrying the staff. Um, so this new beginning, you're going to be fiery. You're going to be passionate and you're going to trust, um, you know, your instincts. Um, and you're not going to allow anything um to stunt your growth moving forward because you're taking action towards those things that you desire and you're stepping into a whole new world a whole new paradigm and this is you being armed with all that you've learned and everything you've learned from that former relation those former connections it's like you're now going to apply it in this new junction and phase and stage in your life and you're going to navigate this world very meticulously um, you're going to be very observant. You're looking at things uh, with, you know, from that bird's eye view now. So this is powerful. So this person definitely plugged you, um, activated you, recharged you, um, and 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 set you out on this new journey. So that's powerful. And so we have. What was I saying about passion ignited? Being passionate. So this passion has ignited within you, and this is another one. So you went from zero to one. So this one is also a very divine number because this represents the self. So you're focusing more now on yourself. You're focusing more now on what you require and what you desire. I feel like you received those downloads, transmissions, and divine intervention, which told you to trust your own inner gumption, to follow your dreams, to, you know, you to trust what you are feeling, you know, whatever is erupting within you. Um, I feel like, you know, things that were lying dormant for a while, they have begun to um, erupt within you. And so you started to answer that call. And this is making you, you know, assess not only yourself, but your life, uh, the people that you deal with, um, your circumstances. It started to, you know, make you start assessing things more closely. Uh, because I feel like, you know, there was a sense that you were not being your authentic self. But I feel like, you know, this is telling me that you trusted what you were feeling intuitively. Um, and I feel someone uh, was activated by your activation, this fire, this passion, 
one you know one candle can light the flame of a thousand candles so i feel like you becoming activated in that regard in that sense has in return activated someone else now they're receiving the downloads they're receiving the uh transmissions and they're now realizing um they have deep regret deep remorse because they recognize the passion they recognize your love. You had a, a very, you know, a very profound way in which you showed them love. But this circle shows me that you've come full circle and that you have absolutely um, healed at a soul level. And you're highly intuitive now by trusting your intuition. You were able to break certain uh, belief systems, certain ideologies um, and habits and put yourself first. And we have full clip playing by... Um, by um gang star and so yeah you know I, I feel like you know this person is starting to um receive like they're watching you know there's like they're getting the full download the full clip you know the full movie clip they're not getting the snippet they're not getting the you know the the trailer they're getting a full clip a replay um you know and it's like it's replaying that's why i was picking up like you know during their dreams they could be getting some messages or even you know when they're resting in bed at night um they could be getting some sort of downloads um but they're laying on you know a guilty conscience and there's deep regret uh for the way in which they behaved and i feel like this full clip is showing them um it's replaying back to them um the ways in which they behaved the way in which they may have um mistreated you um see that they're seeing the light so there's absolutely illumination, clarity, truth, understanding. I feel like you all listening to your intuitions also received the full downloads. Um, there was no confusion. Um, you were able to see clearly what was going on. Um, and I feel like, you know, you, 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 when you walked away from that connection and followed your passion and followed your dreams and did what was best for you, yourself and you, um, this is the me, myself and I card with that one. When you started to focus on that, that's when you came full circle. Because you got to love yourself first and foremost. Self-love is what makes you more attractive. Self-preservation is what's going to allow you to survive. Um, and, you know, that's a Darwin concept. So I feel like for you all, you all started to do that. And so that brought you to the truth. And you started that healing process. The light represents the sun. The sun is all about clarity, truth, illumination, healing, strength, power. Um, and enlightenment. And I feel like, like I said, with this candle, this one flame, your candle lit the flame of, uh, you know, others, maybe even several people. But I feel like you doing your soul work, you healing at a soul level, you discovered you all may have a passion or a gift in healing. You may have a passion or a gift in, you know, being some sort of shaman, um, a light worker, uh, because this sun, like I said, represents, you know, power. Um, and I feel like a lot of you are coming into some really positive times. Things are really unfolding very beautifully for you. And so someone also, because we're about to clarify the forgiveness card along with the she loves me, she loves me not games, mixed signals. I definitely feel like you all saw that someone was playing a lot of childish games. And um, I feel like you all just chose to push forward, push past that and not, you know, engage and not be caught up in any bull crap. And so we have You Ain't a Killer uh, by Big Punisher. And so with the You Ain't a Killer, um, that's not really resonating. But what is, is Big Punisher, you know, the artist. Um, I feel like, you know, this person was punished um, for perhaps, you know, leaving you for another person. I feel like karma, when I hear punishment, that was their punishment is to attract someone that was like them. So I feel like, you know, they may have left you for someone thinking the grass was greener on the other side, um, but they didn't choose wisely uh, because this person that they were with, whoever they were with, male or female, um, this person may have just used them, um, gave them mixed signals, probably was, um, like I said, it was a very incubus succubus connection or a very um, lustful connection or one just full, just based off sex very low vibrational and that's why this person is seeking forgiveness because they literally let a delicate flower go um over something that was um superficial uh and i feel like with the big punisher i feel like um they're receiving punishment because they are 
um, not with you. They've lost you. And I feel like they now recognize you are the sun um, that shines in their life. You always have been. Things are very gloomy. Things are very lonely. Um, but they do see you as this beautiful, delicate flower. And they're hoping to, you know, have that new beginning to, you know, kind of blossom or re-spark a connection or um, try to, you know, nurture a connection with you again. They know it's very delicate. Um, so they're very fearful. But you know, the burden was, you know, whoever this other person was, um, because, you know, I feel like this person, like I said, got caught up in some sort of, you know, external connection. And they thought perhaps maybe they thought it was love. Maybe they thought that they met their twin flame. Maybe they thought that they met someone that was more like them than you were, because we do see mirror reflect. So this was, you know, they, they, they got involved with a karmic and um, this was someone reflecting who they were at one point in time when you met this person, they reflected back to you who you was at the time. But as you grow, you kind of, you know, you start to grow further and further apart from people. And I feel like that's what happened here was you grew for the better. You started to, you know, evolve and ascend. Um, so to speak. And now this person is recognizing because of your spiritual downloads and transformations and you becoming activated, you triggered your person. Now they're going through their dark night of the soul process. And now they're recognizing that whoever they thought they had this loving connection with is, you know, doing nothing but showing them mixed signals. And they're playing a lot of mind games, a lot of head games. And, um, you know, now, you know, they realize they're being punished and they're being punished because they've lost you and they really deeply want to, you know, reconcile, repair this connection. They want a new opportunity to reconcile and they want your forgiveness, forgiveness ultimately. Um, but with the light, they can see clearly now, you know, so divine spirit, why is this? She loves me. She loves me not here and forgiveness for our beloved Scorpios, divine spirit, love and light. Thank you, spirit. And so we have positive movement forward. So they're hoping for a positive movement forward. I do feel like, you know, you all um, with this positive movement forward, this could be saying that some of you all could be uh, moving in the right direction to um, repair this connection or you have moved on with your life. And that's why they're seeking your forgiveness, because you've, you're making positive movements um, away from someone who was toying with your emotions. Um, I do feel that there is like physical distance between you and this person. And that son is also standing out. So someone is recognizing um, their mistakes. They're having that aha moment and epiphany. They're having a moment of clarity. Um, and I also see this bird. So there is going to be some sort of communication. Um, they will eventually, you know, send that message, that text message, or email you that letter, um, or write you or even mail you a letter. Um, but I do feel like you know, with the forgiveness, the divine is saying, you know, and this is infinite possibilities also because there's an eight um, here and that eight always represents the infinity symbol sim um, symbolically. And so I do feel like this person is hoping um, that the two of you have, uh, you know, some sort of ability to reconcile or repair a relationship and you can move, um, you know, move forward, um, you know, but I do feel like, you know, we got into deep playing by Nas. So I do feel like, you know, there is a sense that, you know, maybe this connection, as I said, has gone um, too far down, you know, the dark path for there to be an ability to reconcile. But I do feel like there can be um, a means to forgiving and, you know, at least being on speaking terms, uh, being more, you know, friends, uh, you know, becoming friends again. Uh, this person learning the new version of you, getting acquainted with this new version of who you are. Um, I do feel like with that, there can be an opportunity because it says positive movement forward. So I do feel like for Scorpios, you will forgive someone if they do come in and apologize and take accountability for the way that they've acted or behaved. Um, and there can be some clarity. Uh, we do have love begins. So maybe some of you all will reconcile with an ex with this love begins once you have some sort of dialogue once you go through some sort of conversation or have some sort of conversation and this is for a select few because most of you all this is new love you know new love is coming in and it's because you've 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 severed the the ties to the past you've released that person and you're moving on this is like the eight of cups, you know, self-love makes you more attractive. This is walking away from a connection without that pain and that hurt and that, that, that 
frustration, that anger. Um, and remember, this is like the me, myself and I. So when you really work on yourselves, you you have no problem forgiving someone. And I feel like you will for, forgive someone and you'll ultimately free them also from their guilt, their shame and having that that deep you know energy of remorse and regret. Because, you know, this person now, um, I do feel like you all are going to be moving on and you're going to be moving on and into a whole new love, a whole new partnership with this love begins. This is new love. This is someone that's going to speak your love language. This is absolutely someone that's going to give as well as going to receive. So this is going to be equal give and take. This is going to be reciprocal. This is going to be like emotional fulfillment for both of you. And this connection is going to grow with the, it's going to stand the test of time and it's going to grow stronger as time um as time goes on i do feel like the two of you can grow a lot there will be a lot of success a lot of abundance in this relationship there's happiness and joy and i feel like many of you are going to be in too deep you're going to be like deeply in love um with nas playing um so divine spirit of love and like why is judas and skull of stars here divine spirit see that so the Judas and the stars of spirit. This is the base chakra. So many of you had to um, heal from dealing with that Judas, that deceiver, that deceptor. That's like dealing with devil energy, someone very toxic, someone who has a lot of afflictions, addictions, secrets, things that they're working on. Um, I do feel like many of you, uh, you, you went back to the root cause of the problem, which is why you were able to heal. And through healing, um, you were able to recognize that you had infinite possibilities, that this person wasn't the end all be all of you. You realize just how dope you were and how unique and how amazing and how much of, um, you know, that energy you needed to uh, reciprocate back to you. You needed that reciprocated. You need someone that's um, also going to um, feed and nurture your spirit as you did theirs. I see here with the skull of stars, you remained, remained hopeful. You remain positive with that star energy. That's about remaining hopeful, um, praying and wishing and, you know, on a star. Um, and we got closer playing by Gawapoli. And so a lot of you all um, definitely prayed um, to your ancestors, your guides. And I feel like, you know, with this stars here, you all are becoming closer to achieving some of your, your dreams, your goals. This person sees you as wish fulfillment. I feel because you've worked on your root chakra and because you've unblocked a lot of those familial issues, those childhood traumas, abandonment issues, mommy, daddy issues, uh, financial constraints, um, losing your voice in partnerships and relationships you are now you know going to receive the wish fulfillment because you've done the work from the root from the rooter to the tutor you took it back to the root cause which was you know attracting someone who is deceptive attracting someone in their shadow energy that judas is someone who's in that shadow energy someone who reflected the dark aspects of yourself someone who was controlling Someone who could have been narcissistic, overbearing, disloyal, dishonest, a cheater, a manipulator, a gaslighter, you know, emotionally manipulative, physically, someone even abusive. But I feel like because you stood your ground and you relied on yourselves to take your power back, to stand in your strength, to own your strength, this is how you were able to start receiving wish fulfillment because she has, she's singing closer to my dreams. And so many of you are becoming closer to achieving your dreams, your goals, um, whatever you've discovered, um, whatever was erupting within you, passion, whatever that passion was, whatever was lying dormant because it wasn't being fed or nurtured by, you know, someone who was just controlling and manipulative. You are now discovering um, what that was. You've discovered for most of you what that was. And you've been honing those skills, mastering those crafts. You've been co-creating with universe, with source. You've been meditating. You've been connecting to your higher selves more consistently. And now you're able to see that you're becoming closer to achieving your goals. I feel like this person, you know, this person's growing discontent and bored, as I said, because they don't have you um, in their lives and they may be watching you literally become closer uh, to achieving your goals whether that be in love whether that be in life and we have movement choices and decisions 
And then we have the authority figure. So this is what you were dealing with someone, um, you know, with whom you may have been very, very discontent in that relationship. It was very like, it was just, it wasn't exciting. It was very like, it was stagnant. Um, it was unfulfilling. And I feel like you felt stuck for a long time. And you were in the dark about a lot of things, but I do feel like there were a lot of movements and changes. And I feel like you started to recognize that you had to make some some decisions which were um, best for you. Uh, you could have been dealing with someone who could have been like an authority figure, father figure. Uh, this person could be someone who was like your, like I said, husband, wife, um, someone who could have a background in law enforcement, military, um, security, um, this could be a boss even. I feel like for many of you, you were very unfulfilled in a partnership. And it was because you were dealing with someone who was very overbearing, very controlling. And we did see control and mirror reflects. So you were with someone who you allowed to kind of, you know, control the narrative, control the direction of the relationship. And they were very overbearing and it caused a lot of um, imbalance in this partnership. And I feel like you had to make a decision because many of you were unfulfilled, unhappy. Um, and I feel like a lot of you felt, um, even depressed, but there goes the star card, the hope card. So the 17 reduces to the eight and that eight represents the star and the star is all about remaining hopeful. So this is what you were dealing with. That Judas energy, um, definitely was someone who you had to make a choice. You had to make a decision to you know separate yourself from this energy because it was really stunting your growth it wasn't really nurturing you um and i feel like you all had to heal um you had to ground yourselves more importantly uh, but i feel like many of you um took to um praying to your guides your angels and your ancestors asking for the strength asking for the power asking for um you know just the ability to see your way clear and you took your power back with this root chakra. So this is powerful. All right. So let's tap and tune in. And let's get into the reading. And so we have Rico Love, They Don't Know, playing. So we're going to use the African-American tarot deck. And then we're going to clarify with the Orishas deck. Ashe. Bottom of the deck, we got the Ace of Wands, New Beginning. So the Ace of um, Wands, um, so this could be someone very much, very much um, going through a new, new beginning, transformation, closing the door in the past, entering into a whole new venture, a whole new cycle. We got Rico Love, they don't know. So someone doesn't know, you know, they don't know that you're on this new journey, you're on this new path. Maybe someone's very passionate about you also. And you don't know because the four page letter there. Um, so they don't maybe you don't know how passionate someone is. They see you as very um, nurturing, very domestic, very grounded, very abundant. You're a healer. You have a beautiful connection to Mother Gaia. You're very successful. Also, they see you as very self-sufficient, independent, self-reliant. Got the four of um, cups. So they do know that there's, you know, potentially a missed opportunity. You know, this person could be like thinking back to perhaps, um, you know, their mistreatment and the Ten of Wands. Yeah, the lack of, you know, giving that lack of equal give and take, you know, going after something else. And it goes that owl. So this person is now seeing, you know, the burdens. I feel like you also have learned from all of the burdens that were put on you. You've learned from all of the you know, the baggage that you are carrying around. There goes that emperor again. And so this person definitely could have potentially, you know, this is that my way or the highway energy. That emperor could be very overbearing. This also could be your energy of taking your power back and, um, you know, looking at things, you know, from a different perspective. Maybe in the past uh, you felt rejected. You felt like you were abandoned um, for someone else. But I do feel like now um, you're owning your power. Some of you could be entrepreneurs working on businesses, um, working on new ideas, uh, but you're very successful. Someone's observing things from a different perspective. Those are all eyeballs. 
So they're blindfolded, but these eyeballs are looking in every which direction. So they're being forced to observe things from a different perspective. This is a very sacrificial position. And that sacrifice card was actually the hanged man and not the judgment card. I misspoken, but that sacrifice card is the hanged man. Uh, remember that, remember that came out with the, um, psychic tarot deck. So the sacrifice, you did make sacrifices. This person is an acknowledging they didn't make enough sacrifice. And they're looking at things from a different perspective. So Divine Spirit of Love and Light, let's go ahead. And we have the King of Cups. So this person is saying you don't know how much they love you because they don't know is playing. So they don't know. They don't know how much you love them. Or you don't know how much they love you. Um, they don't. You don't know because they've yet to say it. Because they're still struggling with how to formulate their words. I feel like this person has been you know, really working on this with the three of wands. They're really taking their time. You see how these, these little laughing hyenas are scheming on this little goat here and they're taking their time. You know, they, they're trying to plan it right, but this person will be coming in. They're going to take action eventually, um, to express this. So you will receive a message because this, this horse is going in the future direction. So I do feel like there will be, um, some quick action, um, there will be a message that will come in, come through. And uh, this is going to be something that you don't know. It's 11.11 on the clock. And I do want to show you just so you can see that. So this will be a twin flame. This could be a twin flame soulmate. So it's 11.11 on the clock. Just as I said, many of you or this person could be getting a lot of synchronicities, downloads, divine, divine intervention. Bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Cups. So you do have a message of love coming in. And as I said, this four page letter, this person has been penning to you. They definitely are struggling with how to say it because this is someone who has potentially, you know, they screwed up in the past and now they're trying to figure out how to get past the past. And you don't know how much they love you. And this four of pentacles, they're really holding on to you, holding on to this connection. But they also feel like you're blocking them out. You know, they feel like there's this block because they know they screwed up, but they are trying to think of, you know, perhaps unique ways to express this love. There is this aha moment. I feel this person has had this grand epiphany, especially being that we're clarifying, you know, the mirror reflects and um, shadow side. They are, you know, being forced to look at the way in which they behaved in the past. And so they're understanding um, why you may have blocked them, why you may have, um, you know, disconnected or detached. Uh, they also see that you have this new beginning and I feel like they're fearing losing you with this four of pentacles. So they're fearing losing you. And there's, you know, you see the thunder clapping in the background. There's like lightning rather, you know. And so that means that there could be, you know, some sort of communication. They recognize that they did a lot of things that, um, you know, that was really disheartening. That really broke down the trust in this partnership. There was something that happened. There was some sort of um, unexpected change. And so they're wearing this mask. I do feel like they were hiding a lot of things from you, especially with the moon here on zombie. They also, they were dealing in their shadow side, you know, they were also dealing in their shadow side. I do feel this person was also trying to control the funds, trying to control and manipulate um, the runnings of the household just so that they can do whatever it is they were doing on the side. Let's stay together is playing by Al Green. So this person definitely is wanting to stay together, which is why I was picking up on the fact that they're trying to hold on to you. But there was a lot of instability and it was in unstable because they were trying to be controlling. This person is going to try to come back and, um, you know, shower you with gifts. As I said, they may try to do things like, you know, offer, you know, just kind gestures, maybe send you a bouquet of flowers. Maybe they'll just, you know, just pick up um, on a completely different note by being more thoughtful. Maybe in the past, this person wasn't as thoughtful. And I feel like this is someone um, who is coming in, um, recognizing um, maybe that they've kept you waiting. And so, you know, they know now they're going to have to do something to at least let you know that they are serious. This is an elephant. Uh, elephant. So this, I do feel because they're going in the past, this is someone from your past, obviously. Um Give me one moment. I'm sorry.
So I do feel because the phone rang in the middle of my build about someone coming back and just kind of showering you with things. Maybe instead of sending this letter, they may communicate with you directly, um, you know, that they wish to stay together because Al Green was playing. And this is someone coming in with the right intentions, someone willing to invest long term, someone who's interested in longevity. Um, with this new beginnings here, I do feel like this is showing that, you know, whatever you are entering into, um, you're only focused on emotional investment. You're focused on things that are going to grow with time. I do see here that um, there is an interest, you know, maybe you've been waiting a long time for someone to, you know, put you first to invest in you. Um, this person's absolutely thinking of you with lettuce playing. So this person's thinking of coming in and uh, showering you with, you know, their love, you know, wanting to invest long term, wanting to fight for this connection um, because they're still in love with you. Um, and it said, let's stay together. So someone that you've had some sort of, um, you know, I feel like this person is is, is having a, a, a real true divine intervention right now. And um, with this Knight of Swords, there is going to be some some communication. You got the Knight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, and now you have the Knight of Swords. So there's communication of love. There's communication of someone wanting to invest. And now there's this, you know, this dialogue. They're ready to say what they feel, you know, and it's saying, um, I think of you. This person is definitely thinking of you, thinking of you deeply, thinking of you dearly. They're having regrets thinking of you. They're definitely regretting the way they spoke to you the last time you all communicated. You know, they're definitely having a lot of, um, you know, remorse in the way that they've mishandled you. They're also receiving downloads, you know. I feel like their angels, guides, ancestors are forcing them to look at situations from a different perspective, from your perspective, um, to see how they've mishandled you and mistreated you. So Divine Spirit, 11 Light, why is downloads, transmissions, divine intervention here, along with regret and passion? So we have our messages, and we have the Ace of Swords. So someone's definitely getting an aha moment, an epiphany, a grand epiphany, and they're prepared. They're preparing themselves to communicate. You see how this sword is on fire? And remember, chicken grease um, was playing, and I was saying it was hot. So I feel like this person is really getting prepared to communicate, to say what they have to say, to apologize. Um, they're preparing. And I feel like it's because they're starting to have these... Um, these downloads, you know, it's, it's, it's becoming, it's growing more out of control. You know, they're feeling like they cannot control how they're feeling, what they're feeling. Um, and I feel like, you know, this person, they're wearing this mask, but I feel like they're preparing to let, you know, take this mask off and be transparent with you for once and for all. I feel like this person may have worn a mask because that was a way for them to protect themselves um, from being vulnerable, from um, getting hurt. And I feel like, you know, they, they may have played that hand with the wrong person. Maybe you're the first person that they've realized that they have true feelings for. Maybe they've been hurt in their past and they did not know how to emote. Um, but I do feel like this person thinks of you a lot. They love you a lot. And this person is prepared to come in and work um, on this connection by communicating effectively and honestly. I do feel like there's going to be some truths revealed. Um, but I do feel overall that this person is wanting to and is prepared to come in and communicate with this Ace of Swords. But I also feel like you all received your downloads and you've cut this person off because of their dishonesty, because of their toxicity. And you may be receiving, you know, some of your downloads in terms of, you know, new ideas. Maybe you all will be working on some new creative ideas, working on new projects. Um, you're implementing change in positive ways. You're looking at things more logically um, and you're putting yourselves first. And, um, you know, this is also, you know, very, you know, cerebral energy. So highly intelligent, learning something new, taking classes, growing, evolving. But there's definitely an energy of, you know, some sort of communication also coming into play here. So we have the she loves me, she loves me not. Forgiveness, uh, bur reducing burden and positive movements forward. So this Ten of Wands is here. So this person absolutely has a lot of regret for the way that they've treated you. But I feel like this person may have learned. Um, you may have treated them. I mean, they've learned from the way that you have um, responded to their disingenuous 
um, this, I feel like, you know, this person definitely got hit with karma. They met a version of themselves. They definitely uh, met a mirror reflection of themselves with the, she loves me, she loves me not. So whoever they may have cheated on you or lied with you on, whether male or female, um, they realize that that was not love. Uh, they do want to come back, double back and ask for your forgiveness for mishandling your heart, uh, because they want to take things forward, even if just in friendship. Um, but I do feel like someone's genuine in a, in the way that they've treated you, because I feel like they realize the burdens that they have, um, put on you. They realize that, that they didn't put in enough work. I feel like you also have realized, you know, that you don't have to carry the burden around of this partnership anymore. You could release it and let it go. Um, the Ten of Wands is reduced to the Ace. So that's that new beginning that you have here. So with this, you know, Ten of Wands, which reduced to the Ace, you're going to move powerfully and positively in a whole new direction because you've gained the clarity. You've healed. You've learned to let go of the pain. You've learned to let go of the disappointment. And I feel like you've learned so much with that owl here. You've learned that you don't have to carry the burden. You don't have to carry around that pain. You don't have to carry around that trauma. You don't have to carry around the anger, the frustration, because all it does is hold you back and it keeps you stuck and it keeps you burdened. You know, this is saying reduce and burden. So you reduce burden by letting go of what is burdening you, whether that's a person, whether that's a belief system, whether that's a circumstance, whether that's a way of thinking, whatever this is, you're releasing it. And it's because you've gained some sort of clarity, some sort of truth, and you realize your worth, your value, your purpose. And so with the Ready to Die song playing by Notorious B.I.G., um, I definitely feel like that Ready to Die is referencing the death of the old version of you. You are the death um, card in the Tarot deck, Scorpio. So the death represents your change, your transformation. Not only are you moving forward you know, into a, a happier, brighter, and better days ahead. But I feel like you're emotionally fulfilled. And I feel like with this red card, the red border is absolutely speaking to you being able to, you know, you, you've healed, you've come into alignment, you've unblocked that root chakra, you're standing erect, you're doing what's best for you. And you're doing so unapologetically. And now you're ready to die, meaning you're ready to that version of you, that old version, that pained, that hurt, that traumatized little girl or little boy that was trapped in your body, that was accepting all of the mistreatment and accepting that shadow side or aspect of your person, that part of you is dead. And you're now rising like that phoenix from the ashes with the ready to die by Notorious B.I.G. So that's beautiful. And look at this. you got the Ten of Cups here, beloved. Ten of Cups is clarifying the Judas, the infinite possibilities, and the base chakra. So many of you, when you heal yourselves, then you become great healers. I feel like many of you have absolutely um, been praying, wishing, hoping for more love, better love. I feel like you're going to have a lot of uh, family, you know, beautiful family uh, connections, bonds, things are healing and repairing. I feel like a lot of you have healed, as I said earlier, from a lot of generational curses, a lot of uh, familial issues. You've been healing those things. Things are improving. I also feel you have emotional fulfillment and contentment coming in. And you have the King of Wands here. And um, this is, you know, perhaps this is saying that you was dealing with someone who was like that Judas. This is that person that you were in a relationship, a marriage, a partnership. Um, you may have had children together. You planted roots, planted seeds. Um, I feel like this was a family. Um, this was almost like a blended family situation I'm picking up uh, where, you know, you may have had a child that was not, you know, this, this masculine child, but the two of you shared a child. So this person stepped in as a stepfather or this could be vice versa, where you may be with a woman who was not the mother to your one of your children, but you all had a child together. So there was almost like this blended family. Um, and this is an energy with this King of Wands. King of Wands can be a very controlling energy. Um, they could be ruled by their phallus as well. 
and they also can be very difficult because they're flighty they're passionate they like things their way uh, and they could also have a wandering eye so this could have led to perhaps the end of some sort of family dynamic which was once happy at one point in time you could have felt that this person this king of wands turned their back or this queen of wands will say either or you know this king of wands turned their back on the family to chase after you know um you know their lusts their passions their their desires um and put that before um the family put that before you know the the, the growth of this family I feel like with the Judas card here, that absolutely is telling me that that's exactly what happened. You discovered someone was a Judas. You discovered someone was dishonest, was not necessarily, um, you know, thinking of the family. They were thinking of themselves because we did have controlling. So this person could have been trying to, you know, manipulate the finances to better themselves. Um, because when you look at this king here next to these people, he's well garbed, he's well dressed, but everybody else seems to be kind of dressed in just like, you know, close to nothing. And so I feel like this person was very selfish. And I feel like for a lot of you, you took your power back and you found your backbone. Um, and you realize that you had infinite possibilities, whether this relationship ended or not, you realize and you persevered through the difficulties, through the ending, through the betrayal of this connection. Um, we have the magician card here and the magician and the star card are both referenced. So this star is the alchemist. That's one who transmutes. They are the airbender or the waterbender, excuse me. And then this is the magician. So you could have absolutely been dealing with a magician, someone who is very, very manipulative, emotionally, psychologically, uh, very self-serving, very narcissistic. Uh, but this also could speak to you taking your power back. I'm hearing, I got the power. So I'm hearing that, you know, like you took your power back um, and you discovered your worth, your value. You stood erect and you cut yourself free because there's the sword here. I also see the wand. I see that chalice. And I also see the pentacles. So this is speaking to you, you know, transmuting that negativity and manifesting what you desire um, into your life, um, which is, you know, the peace, the happiness, the serenity that you knew you was deserving of. So let's go ahead and uh, clarify. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the two of cups. So, so just as the cards were saying initially, um, you may have new love coming in. And this could be someone you're manifesting because that magician speaks to you being master manifestors, being in control, knowing that you can, you know, you can control your reality by, you know, changing your thoughts, uh, by setting your intention. Um, but I do feel like there's uh, love coming in and this just isn't any type of love. Uh, this is a love you're manifesting. This is a love that you are calling in. This is a spiritual union. This is a soul partner. This is a harmonious relationship or connection. There's synergy, there's chemistry, and there is just this beautiful love language that you and this person will be sharing with one another. And uh, we have the Page of Cups. So this is someone coming in. This is someone new because you don't even expect it. This person's coming. You don't know how close they are to entering into your lives. Um, so be very you know, be very mindful to be open, to be receptive, because there's someone coming in to claim you. There's someone coming in that's going to match or fly, that's going to be very affectionate, very attentive. Look at this. I can't make this up. The Ace of Cups, new love. This is a deep and passionate love. This is a love unlike any other that you all may have experienced. I feel like this is something you all deserve, because as I said, um, when you love yourselves, when you learn to put yourselves first, um, you absolutely will attract what you desire. And I feel like a lot of you with that, you know, breaking generational curses and yokes and, um, you know, cutting those karmic cords, you've set yourselves free uh, from someone that was binding you, um, from someone that was not your person. Um, and this has freed you up so that you can now you know, be more open to love. So when you start calling in your soulmate, you'll be ready for them. So the bottom of the deck, we have the 10 of wands here. So this is the 10 of wands and someone is absolutely spying on you. This is clarifying the um, Knight of cups. So this person is, like I said, this is clarifying the four page letter. It's clarifying 
wise seeing, wise action, and then obstacles and challenges. Uh, challenges. Now, in any other case, I would say this is very creepy, um, but I feel like this person is honestly spying to gauge how to come in, to gauge what to say, just as I said earlier. This is someone watching you. So you may not know this, but this person's watching you from a distance. Remember, you are not in communication with this person, but they're watching to figure out how to come in, how to approach you, how to communicate and formulate their, um, you know, formulate their words, how to let you know um, that they're sorry, that they want your forgiveness. This is someone who caused a lot of burden, a lot of frustration, a lot of pain in your life, and they're aware of that. And that could be why they're coming in to apologize. But this also could speak to someone who was emotionally manipulative in the past. And they caused you a lot of burdens and a lot of pain. But I feel this person now with wise seeing, wise action, they're recognizing um, the error in their ways. They're gaining some sort of wisdom, you know, from reflection, from looking back. And now they're trying to seek out um, your forgiveness, trying to figure out how to approach you to obtain that forgiveness. And so this person is watching you. Um, they could be looking at your social media. Um, some of them could literally be just, um, you know, kind of just kind of visualizing or you know how you sometimes speak to yourself and you speak to yourself to plan something. So it's like, you know, say for instance, you're about to have a conversation with someone. You have the conversation first in your head or in your mind before you do it so as to manifest the desired outcome. So I feel like that's what that person is kind of doing. But they're coming in uh, wanting to offer this uh, cup of love to apologize. Um, so there is this energy of someone wanting to come in and offer love or an apology to, you know, even, a, you know, explain some things. Um, we have live on, live strong. So this person does want uh, the connection with you to live on, live strong, because I feel like, you know, they know now that they have to move uh, differently with you because you have changed so much. So it's like, that's why they're watching you because they're like gaining so much. Um, they're gaining a better understanding of how to approach you because they've recognized the changes that you've made. They see how intelligent, how wise you all are and how intuitive. And they know that you would be able to see them, um, you know, see through them. So they want to come in the right way. Uh, we do have the three of wands. So they are taking their time. Um, there is a sense that there could be distance. There is a sense that, you know, as I said, the two of you could have lived together, been in a partnership. You were waiting around for this person to show you the love, the passion, the attention, um, and give you the time. Uh, but I feel like this person was very flighty. Uh, this also could speak to this person being in and out, in and out. And I feel like for a lot of you, you were just waiting and waiting. Uh, this Knight of Pentacles also speaks to just kind of waiting for someone to come in. And I feel like this person was reflecting to you to stand direct, to know your worth, know your value. Don't just wait around for anyone. Do your work spiritually um, as well as, you know, externally, physically, mentally. Always be working on yourself and don't be completely engulfed with a partnership or, you know, your whole world has to around around them I feel like you know that was the control you know the control was uh, trying to control the relationship trying to control the narrative and not trusting what you were seeing intuitively or what you were feeling you know those gumptions those notions um, not picking up on the cues I feel like when you stop focusing on this person who could have been emotionally manipulatively gaslighting you um, I feel like that's when you started to just focus more on yourselves uh, and you started to pick up on the intuitive downloads that the divine was giving you. Um, but I feel like you ultimately realized someone was a super hoe um, because we do have Boogie Down Productions playing. And then we have this three of wands. So you was waiting around for someone who was a super hoe, uh, meaning they was going out and they was hoeing around, being promiscuous, flighty, in and out, sleeping with anything that had a pulse. Um, and I feel like ultimately when you realize your worth and value and when you started to do your internal work and you started to question yourself in terms of why am I sitting here accepting this? Why am I sitting around waiting for someone and begging for someone to give me the love that I know I deserve, that I give so freely? That's when you said, okay, it's time for the new. It's time for me to move on. And that's when you close the door to that old version of your life and you stepped into the new and so 
now there's this energy of someone wanting to come in and shower you with this love this attention i feel like this person's coming in um and they're gonna like charge in with a different energy um but let's tap into it and why is this mirror reflection reflects here with the zombie card and the new beginnings and the knight of pentacles divine spirit why is the mirror reflects the zombie the new beginnings knight of pentacles thank you spirit and so we have the five of wands so you were dealing with someone who was very combative someone who also had you in competition someone who wasn't listening to their intuition this is someone who was definitely um ruled by their phallus there was a lot of competition if you look in the backdrop you see all these people fighting all this you know this is someone who had a lot of attention so they were a super hoe we got super hoe playing and so this was a super hoe i just wanted y'all to hear the song so he was dealing with a super hoe and so they had a lot of options they had a lot of you know a lot of people they can choose from and um they had around bread crumbing you along giving you bits and pieces not really investing in you the way they were investing in other partnerships and so they weren't paying attention to you because they were distracted. They had a lot of distracted, a lot of distractions. And they were dealing with incubus, succubus energy. That red is the color of passion, lust, you know, and that black is the shadow. So it's really speaking to the reflex. And so this person definitely, um, you know, you walked away from someone who was controlling you manipulatively, uh, playing a lot of mind games, gaslighting, playing, toying with your emotions. Um, but I see here they had a whole mistress with the queen of wands and what's interesting with this queen of wands is she has a sword so you could have been dealing with someone like i said who had a mistress who they thought they were in love with um but she was toying with their emotions you could have been doing some sort of spell work on this person to keep them boxed in um but i do feel like this they had a lot of confusion pertaining the connection the partnership with you because there were other people that were playing a part in this connection, you know, kind of tripping them up, confusing them, telling them, you know, maybe they had a lot of people around them who were deceptive and they just weren't thinking, you know, in their right mind. And then, and he's saying, he is a super hoe. So yeah, so they was a super hoe and they definitely wasn't honoring you or the connection they had with you. And it's because they had a whole mistress. They had a whole person on the side another man another woman on the side so why is downloads transmissions divine here along with regret passion ignited and the ace of swords divine spirit of love and light we have the message of love and light so i'm only going to take this one and this is the one that's in the upright all of the other cards are going back in the deck because they were all faced downward let me just make sure the card thank you spirit so look at this judgment what did i say this person's regretting their actions because see that big sun? They're seeing things clearly. There's illumination. There's clarity. They recognize the error of their ways. They also are receiving the downloads, receiving the transformation. I mean, the transmissions. And they're regretting their actions. They're regretting everything that they have done to you. And it's because they're having some sort of divine intervention. So their angels, guides, and ancestors are working with them to show them that you know, their treatment of you was, it was despicable, you know, and if they want forgiveness, then they're going to have to not only ask for your forgiveness, but they're going to have to change. But this person ultimately wants to reconcile, to repair, to work on this connection. And they know that they're going to have to remove that mask. They're going to have to release, you know, this, this negativity. They know they deserve you cutting them off. We got, I deserve it playing by Faith Evans, Missy Ellie. Missy Elliott and Sharia, Sharia J. So they know they deserved you cutting them off when you realized that they were being deceptive and had a whole mistress on the side. They know they deserve it. They deserve everything you did to them because they realized that, you know, they allowed their passions, their lust, their selfishness to come in between this partnership, to come in between this family, to destroy this family union, this partnership, which was otherwise a very happy home very stable very emotionally and financially stable i see but this person is wanting to come in and communicate and they're trying to muster up the courage to apologize to um, ask for forgiveness but they definitely are coming in to ask to heal to recognize i mean to reconcile this connection because they do have deep regrets i feel this this person was forced to look at their ways, forced to look at their actions. And they do see you as someone who is beautiful. They see you because this is a, um, 
what is that? A, um, is it a pelican that has all those beautiful like um, feathers? And when it opens up, it looks like it's just beautiful. So I feel like this person recognizes that you are beautiful, that you are and have always been um, their person, that you are their love. They're having this illumination, this clarity. They're finally getting um, this aha moment. As I said, I feel like there's this passion that's igniting um, this love, you know, uh, that they're finally um, owning up to, admitting to themselves. And it's forcing them to see the way that they've treated you, mistreated you. Um, we have the hermit card. So I feel like this person or you, uh, you've been doing a lot of work. You've been grounding yourselves. You've been healing. Um, you haven't been going out as much, or maybe this person hasn't been going out as much. There's been a lot of internal work, a lot of introspective work, a lot of reflecting. And um, that's exactly what, you know, doing your shadow work entails is literally doing that internal work so that you can, um, you know, work through those, those behaviors and those habits and those belief systems that were not serving your highest good. But I do feel like with this hermit, mo, um, hermit card, um, the hermit knows the answers they seek are found within. And so I do feel like someone has found, um, some sort of answers. There's been some sort of change in someone's understanding um, of life and now they know how to go out and have this new beginning and navigate or go after what they want because I deserve it it's playing so they're gonna come in and because they've done their work they know that they're gonna have to come in and they're going to have to communicate um, or express um, you know forgiveness seeking your forgiveness uh, so that things can move forward so if divine spirit of love and light why is she loves me she loves me not games um, here along with regrets um, I mean with forgiveness and uh, the positive movement forward so a lot of cards just flew out but one is in the upright and this is the six of swords and this reminds me of like you know the distance that I was picking up on not only like physical distance but like even distance um, mentally you know like cutting someone out of your energetic field so that you can focus on your healing so that you can focus on yourself i feel like that's what that's saying but i do feel that there is a desire for someone to communicate um someone you know perhaps you know moving away to find that peace to find that balance i feel someone wants to travel to see you um but you did move away from the burdens you did release yourself from the burdens from the drama from the toxicity from the negativity uh, because someone definitely was playing a lot of games toying with your emotions um, making you feel like you weren't worthy um, and the cards that flew out I was very interested to see which one it was and look what we have right here on the top we got the Queen of Cups so this is your energy so I do feel like what this is saying um, is that you all Scorpios you've moved away from a relationship or a connection that was very burdensome to go and find your peace, to go and find serenity. And in doing so, you've really unlocked um, who you were. You've become wiser and stronger. And I feel like that space has allowed for that other person, for your person to recognize also, um, you know, how they were showing up in your life. Um, and this is why they're wanting forgiveness, because they're recognizing the changes that you've made. They're recognizing that you have literally, you know, learned to love yourselves, um, that you are healers, shamans, light workers, that you have um, changed and evolved. Um, this person really desperately wants forgiveness and they desperately want to reconcile. But I feel like a lot of you are already removed from the situation with the Six of Swords because you have found your peace, your sanctuary. Um, and this is a place where uh, you practice self-care. So you have like a safe haven. Um, and you're not going to let anyone come in and potentially uh, bring their burdens to you again because you've worked very diligently to release those burdens. Um, with the Queen of Cups, this shows that you have been very loving, loyal, patient, kind, supportive. And this is what this person is recognizing with the she loves me, she loves me not. I feel this person recognizes who you were apart from who that karmic was that they chose to abandon you for. I feel like with the five of discs here, they definitely abandoned you, left you out in the cold, but now they're feeling abandoned because whoever they left you for may have returned the favor, a good old dose of karma. Um, I feel that with the Knight of Swords, they were premature in the way that they spoke to you and in the way that they ended things with you. They've literally 
um, cause damage. You know, he has a lot of blood on his, um, on his, uh, what is that called? Um, apron. Thank you, spirit. And I feel like this is like the blood that was shed, the pain that was shed, um, when they abandoned you, the hurt that was caused. Um, I feel here with the nine of wands, uh, you've set a boundary, you know, you've set your boundary, a healthy boundary with this person because you've allowed this person time and time again to, you know, come in. You know, we saw that flighty energy and the last time they tried to return, you was just like, no, the door was locked. It was closed because you ventured into a whole new, you know, junction of your life. And so with this song here, we got Lover Girl by Tina Marie. So someone definitely had a lover girl or a lover boy on the side. And, um, you know, this is why they were, you know, ultimately like taking your kindness for weakness, because when you get to the nine of wands, this is like someone constantly bringing drama. It's like being on a repeating cycle with someone. And it's because someone was not loyal, nor were they faithful because they had a lover girl. And so now they want your faith, you know, they want your forgiveness uh, because they see that you've moved on. And with this ten of wands, you finally unburdened and forgave that person. You finally let them go. We got justice. So what did I say about someone having karma? So karma is in effect. And I feel like karma has everyone address, everyone's address and it has visited your person. Because remember, in the beginning, um, everyday struggle was playing by Notorious B.I.G. So I do feel like someone is going through some, some, some drama because they chose to step outside of a relationship, a family dynamic, a partnership, a union, a marriage, an engagement or whatever. And they chose to chase after some sort of lover girl or a lover boy. And it was all based off lust. It was all based off superficialities. And now you're receiving karma. Um, the beautiful thing about Mama Ma'a is she has everyone's address. But things are being fairly and justly handled for you, Scorpios. I feel like things are happening positively. We have the Nine of Cups here. I mean, the Nine of Discs. So many of you have learned to be independent, self-sufficient, self-reliant, which is why that base chakra is here as well, because that speaks to standing your ground, standing in your power and also owning it, you know, but knowing your worth and value more importantly. And if someone did not notice your worth, your value, you took your power back by discovering it in yourself, um, by practicing healthy self-care, by practicing healthy self boundary or healthy boundaries with other people and by setting your boundaries or your um, standards, I should say, higher. So there is a sense of, you know, self-love makes you more attractive and someone's also noticing your worth, noticing your value. And I feel like you all are, you know, the high priests and high priestesses. So you're highly intuitive and you started to pay attention. These are cowrie shells and those are thrown almost like divination. Um, just like I'm doing with the cards, this is cardamancy. Well, they use shells to do the same. And based on how they fall or how they, you know, the positions they fall, you can predict the future. I feel like for many of you all, as I said, you've discovered your true passions. You've discovered your true gifts. Something that was like that lying dormant within most of you. You all have started to answer those calls and you realize that you are healers, your shamans, your light workers, your clear audience, your readers, your tarot card readers, you could be clair, clairvoyant, you know, you could be telepathic, who knows, but there is this energy, this gift, this very powerful gift you have, um, where your intuition is very strong. Um, I feel like a lot of you are also having a lot of powerful dream activity. So let's go ahead and clarify these last two messages. So divine spirit, why is Judas infinite possibilities and base chakra here? Clarifying the 10 of cups and the Ace of Wands, and we got the Nine of Wands. So this is what you had to do. Someone that you were in a partnership with, you gave it chance after chance because you invested so much. You could have shared a family. You planted roots. You planted, you know, a lot of seeds with this person. You were happy with this person. You loved this person dearly. Um, I feel like a lot of you really wanted this person to love you, um, but they fought you every step of the way. They turned their back on you also because his back is turned um, you know, to this family, as I pointed out earlier. And it's because they could have had a wandering eye because they were always out searching for something they already were in, um, possession of, which was you. But I feel like, you know, chance after chance, time after time, uh, you just got tired of that. And I feel like you ultimately just chose yourselves and walked away from that relationship. Nine is the highest number of change. And so I feel like you all found, um, you know, good reason to walk away. And that reason was because you are, 
you know, you are a star. You recognize you're powerful, you're beautiful, you remained hopeful. The star card is here, and that star has been ringing throughout this whole reading. So you absolutely um, remained hopeful, even though this situation was very painful. When you have the Ten of Cups, that speaks of, of like, you know, love, family. You know, this you weren't the only one affected. I feel like the whole family unit was affected by this breakup, by this person's selfishness, by this person's need to control to manipulate, to rule with an iron fist by their wandering eye and their inability to be content, um, their impulsivity. But I feel like ultimately many of you, that's what led to your healing. The star is, you know, a healer. This is the alchemist. This is someone that knows how to use the potions, the elixirs to life. This is someone that also knows how to utilize the elements around them. And this is someone who co-creates with source, with unit, with universe and the divine. Um, and you have to first be grounded. You got to plant your feet in the ground and you found emotional equilibrium after going through some sort of painful situation, but you've discovered your vulnerabilities was your superpower. So many of you realized that you were healers because you had to first heal yourselves. And this person is now recognizing you are the star, um, that you are stars, that you are beautiful. Um, and we have come share my love plane. So for many of you, I feel like you were really wanting this person to come and share your love. Um, I feel like this person also was finding people to share their love with um, because they were wandering. But I do feel, you know, with this star card, you, you, by you loving yourselves, by you turning your vulnerability into a superpower, by standing in your power, in your strength, in your independence, um, this is leading to wish fulfillment, recognition, rewards, and, um, you know, bright, beautiful days ahead. So divine spirit of love and light, why is the king of wands here? So we're going to take, see that the five of cups, this is standing in the upright. So this is exactly what happened. I definitely feel this person is now having some sort of regret for the way that they've behaved. The five of cups is, you know, kind of like, you know, ruminating and pining over the past. Um, over someone that may have mistreated you, betrayed your trust, um, defiled the union. The union. Um, we got a couple of cards that also flew out, and I do want to expand on those the same as I did for here. But we have the Four of Cups. So this is someone now realizing they've missed an opportunity. And I also feel like this is someone who may be um, under some sort of spell work because I see this needle and this thread, and it always reminds me of like a... Um, you know, like someone weaving something, you know, weaving some sort of web or trying to weave themselves to someone. So someone could have been doing love spells on your person, which caused them to wander. And now this person's like, you know, really regretting the decision they made because it's not their star. It's not their divine feminine. It's not their mas divine masculine. And so they're wanting you to share, you know, come share my love by uh, Mickey Howard is playing. And so we got the king of um, king of discs. So this was that person you were in this family union because this king of dicks, um, I said dicks. Oh, pardon me. <laughs> king of discs. See his disc, his dick. He was ruled by his, his phallus. And I did say that earlier, like, you know, somebody was, you know, maybe they was getting some good fellatio earlier. But I do feel like this person was ruled by their phallus because even this uh, king of wands is holding this phallus up, this fallacious, um, you know, symbol up you know so they was ruled by their their phallus and it could have got them caught up they was weaved in some sort of web uh but this person definitely was someone you were in a partnership with this tower was brought down by their misdeeds by their actions their lies something came to light um and that's why they weren't investing in you but you felt like you invested so much and that's why you probably were having an issue with control because you were trying to control the narrative no regardless of what was being shown to you um, in terms of their actions and their um, lack of loyalty or faithfulness, you still was trying to hold on, trying to control the narrative because this was your family. You were trying to hold it together. You were giving them chance after chance and opportunity after opportunity, but they were still being deceptive. But I feel like, you know, all the seeds you've sown will reap beautiful benefits because you remained hopeful and optimistic. And this Ten of Cups is here. So I feel like, yes, this, this person absolutely defiled some sort of relationship or family tie. But I do feel this is also saying the 10 um, does reduce to the one. This is new love coming in because you focus on nurturing and healing yourself. The ones always reduce to, you know, I mean, always um, respect, um, reflect to the person, you know, to the individual. So I feel like with that 10 reducing to one, I feel like a lot of you have um, 
you know, focused on self-love, self-worth, self-value. And that's why you all are going to attract and manifest new love into your lives. Let's get one card from, and we have Artemis, Guardian. So you are divinely protected. And just as I was picking up with that um, eternal love, and I was saying that some of you had ancestors that were protecting you on the other side. While Artemis is saying that you have guardians and you have spiritual protection from any type of you know, mayhem, any spiritual attacks, psychic attacks, um, any negativity. So that's a beautiful message to show up. And look at this. You have um, expect a miracle along with medicine woman. So a lot of you have healing abilities, um, your channelers, your psychics. Um, you are healing remotely. You could heal uh, through Reiki. I feel like a lot of you have some sort of miracle, some sort of wish fulfillment coming in. Um, and it's because maybe you've, you've discovered your soul purpose. Um, and we have, we have our, what is this? All right, and we have Art Blakely and the Jazz Messengers. It's a long way down. So many of you, um, you know, with that, it's a long way down, are dealing with someone who, you know, kind of was like overzealous, egotistical, very inflated. And I feel like their, their, inf their ego is being um, checked, if you will. But we have focused intention here. So stay focused on what you want and you will manifest exactly what you desire because you all are, you know, very grounded you know you have a very beautiful connection to mother gaia also so step out into nature get those downloads those transmissions take those nature walks have those nature talks with your higher selves because i feel like there's going to be a lot of of downloads that come through that are going to be very beneficial but with the long way down i do feel like someone who is very egotistical who is like you know flying high they're definitely having an ego death um and so it's a long way down because you was dealing with that Judas energy. You was dealing with someone who has a lot of regret, remorse, but they're coming back down to reality. So it's not like they're going to fall and die. You know, maybe it is like a death, so to speak. It's a death of their ego, but they're going to fall into reality. They're going to come back down to reality. Um, so let's get a message from the An Angels and Ancestors deck. On the split, we have Shield, shield Maiden, Make Plans and Focus. And then we have Guardian Angel, you are not alone. So these are your messages. So you have your angels and your guides. That's a uh, triple confirmation that your angels and guides are with you, protecting you. And you also have to shield yourselves. And we have high priestess fell out. Harness mystic power. And that high priestess showed up also. So you all are very powerful, very spiritual beings. Some of you may have a black cat. Some of you may own a cat, period. Um, some of you may also be very intuitive, tapping into your higher selves. I feel like there's a sacred connection that you all have. Um, it's like it's your sovereignty. Um, this is your calling, and you're starting to answer that call. On the bottom of the deck, we have Shield Maiden, make plans and focus. So this is very much saying the same thing. Um, focus your intention. Whatever it is um, that you're choosing to do, whatever it is you're planning to do, you need to get into a space where you can focus. Um, on, you know, focus on what you want because you will hit your mark. So, you know, center yourself in a space where you don't have any outside distractions or noise um, and you'll be fine. But um, this is your reading, beloved Scorpios. I do hope that it resonated with you all. This was a very beautiful message. And I do see you all coming into your power, coming into happier days, positive movement forward. A lot of you have done the soul work, the spiritual work, the internal work. And that's why you're being recognized and rewarded. I do feel someone has deep regret, deep remorse for the mistreatment of you, how they've behaved for choosing someone over you. But I also feel like the divine is giving you an opportunity to make your own decision on whether or not you wish to repair and reconcile that relationship or just continue to forgive and move on with your life and step into a whole new junction. Um, I feel there's new love coming in and there's new opportunities. There's wish fulfillment. You also have miracles happening um, in your life, Scorpios. That's why that, you know, miracles, um, expect a miracle card showed up because uh, a lot of your hard work is being recognized and it's being acknowledged by your angels, your guides. And they're very pleased. They're very proud because many of you have truly broken yokes, generational curses, and you've cut those karmic cords. And because this base chakra is here, this is your chakra. 
So this shows that you've absolutely transformed and changed for the better. And you've worked through a lot of your traumas, a lot of your um, childhood issues, abandonment issues. You've, you've literally taken onus and accountability for your peace, for your happiness, and you've grown. It's, it's showing all throughout this reading that you've evolved. You're coming out with a brand new beginning. So with brand new beginnings means new blessings, new opportunities, new people, new, just new abundance. I feel abundance. I mean, I feel success. I feel joy. I feel happiness. I feel peace. And they're telling you focus your intentions on what you desire and you will hit your mark and also harness the power that you possess because something, you know, as of recent, you know, these past couple of years or during the soul mission, a lot of you have discovered that you are very powerful, very magical, that you are healers, shamans, light workers, that you are magicians, alchemists, that you have the power. Because I did hear, I got the power and that you do. Well, thank you so much for tuning in and tapping in. If you found the reading resonated, my beloved Scorpios, please be kind. Hit that like, that share, that subscribe button. If you are new, I hope that you stay a while. Definitely hit the bell notification so that you all know when I am uploading. But I do thank you so much for tuning in and tapping in. Until next time, I say beloved. Peace, love, and light.